Hey guys, I wanted to show you uh, the future video coming up for the Sunfly. We're going to be testing it uh, someday when we get uh, some rain, how it holds up uh, against water, and uh, if it uh, provides added protection. I'd also like to hear uh, from you as far as what uh, videos you'd like to see. Uh, over here on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see all the videos I've already made. And uh, I'll put a link up in the top right corner uh, to the playlist uh, of all of those so uh, you can check them all out. Okay, let's uh, get on to the video. Guys, today is the day we get to test the actual temperature difference the Sunfly makes on this clam tent. I've had a double of a time uh, getting out camping this uh, month uh, due to a number of complications. So uh, the video uh, today is taking place in my backyard. Uh, but this will work great. Not a cloud in the sky. Forecast to be about 100 degrees today. Okay guys, we're inside the tent. I've got all the windows open here. We are in full sun, no shade. But uh, this is just showing you what happens if you're in if you're in full sun. So uh, I put the thermometer here at uh, about uh, the the height that uh, a normal head is at when you're standing here if you're prepping food or whatever. Check it out, 102.9.7, so almost 103 degrees inside this tent. So let's see what uh, what kind of uh, difference the uh, the sunfly uh, makes. So again. Uh, 103, there we go. That's just across the 103 mark. Uh, and inching its way towards 104. So, anyway, let's uh, let's throw the sunfly on and see what kind of difference that makes. All right, guys, we've got the sunfly on. And uh, let's check the temperature. Oh, look at that, 90.5. So, we went from nearly 104 down to 90. Uh, almost uh, 90, 91, somewhere right in there. So we're still in full sun right here. You can see um, that uh, you know the 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 sunfly is um, doing its job, providing us with full full shade in, in full sun. You can see how much darker uh, the roof is at the height of the day. Uh, it's almost uh, noon now. Uh, we've got um, a nice patch of full shade here. Now, um, there's still a little bit of airflow that is lacking through um, the, the mesh here. Um, we hardly have any wind here uh, today. So uh, anyway, it's still plenty warm, but uh, boy, uh, talk about a, a difference uh, in, in temperature compared to being in here when the sun was coming down, you got that greenhouse effect. Now, I don't feel any of that heat coming down through the top at all, and I can actually feel the nice subtle breeze uh, that there is uh, outside uh, coming in and keeping the space cool. So, uh, let's take a look outside and see how the sunfly looks. Doing its job, reflecting uh, very nicely. It's somewhat uh misfit right now because i didn't take the time to to stake out the the corners and everything uh on the clam tent um but uh, nonetheless it's it's doing its job Whew, need some sunglasses uh, when you look at that that is bright <laughs> so anyway uh does a fantastic fantastic job of reflecting uh, the light and uh, and keeping it substantially cooler inside. So let's, let's go back inside and uh, enjoy some shade. So that's probably the the biggest thing, you know, uh, just to be able to get out. You know, even if it's 90 degrees, recognizing that uh, you know certain humidity conditions and stuff uh, affect it. This temperature sensor that I have is only ambient air temperature does not take into account you know humidity and what it actually feels like but uh, humidity and stuff aside if we just uh, think about this for a minute um, you know just being able to get out of the sun's rays and uh, having a, a fully shaded spot to sit 
and uh, and be uh, during a day when you're you know outside camping or or whatever it can just make a huge difference. You know, splash some water on your face, get a little fan going, and uh, and you'd be able to cool off and stay pretty comfortable uh, in here, um, even on days like today that are going to be uh, upwards of 100 degrees. So, anyway. Um, so let's compare. Uh, now that uh, I've gone through that uh, exercise, let me take the temperature sensor outside, put it in the shade of that tree, and let's see um, how the shade of the sunfly compares to being just under a tree. Okay, so slightly cooler under the tree, 88.2, 88.0, 8, 87.8 depending on how the breeze uh, affects it, um, but uh, somewhere in the uh, upper 80s. So there's about uh, a three, four degree temperature difference uh, being here under the tree uh, versus uh, inside the tent, which is to be expected. Uh, here we're getting full unrestricted breeze by without any kind of mesh or anything blocking that. Whereas in the tent, you're still somewhat in a confined area, but uh, still substantial difference. And if there's uh, a bunch of mosquitoes or bugs uh, out and you're able to avoid that um, inside the tent um, while still getting relief from the heat, uh, it's a pretty good exchange, I'd say. So anyway, thanks uh, everyone for watching. Uh, please be sure uh, to like and subscribe and uh, leave any questions or comments down below. Uh, we have one more video coming up on the sunfly. Um, someday when I'm camping and it rains, uh, we're going to do uh, a check and a test to see how well it repels water and, uh, and keeps the tent dry. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much.